Hello Oracle YouTube Geeks, this is Justin and in this Oracle YouTube tutorial video I'm going to show you how to rename online redo log files. Uh, for a more in-depth discussion on online redo log files, uh, please refer to my YouTube video uh, where I talk about the Oracle database structure and I also go into more details in my internal Oracle database um, architecture videos. Okay, so First thing we need to do is let's set the Oracle SID to our Oracle database name, which is finance, and let's log in with the SQL Plus program. Uh, let's ensure that we are connected to the correct database. Okay, now to get, and we are finance. Now to get a list of online redo log files which are um, on which are associated with this database you type in the following command select member from b dollar log file again that's select member from v dollar log file and here are the three redo log files now there, these are three redo log groups one two and three they each have one member each and I get into the member stuff in my um, a discussion about redo log members and what they are and how they work in my YouTube video, How to Multiplex Mirror Redo Log Files. Okay, so the first thing that we have to do to rename redo log files is we need to shut down our Oracle database instance. And we're going to go ahead and do it with our shutdown immediate command. Now, note that renaming the file means that you're moving it. So this may also, this is also a way if you want to migrate redo log files from one disk drive to another in the Windows world from like C colon to D colon or different file systems on a um, Unix or Linux box. Okay, so shut down, database closed, dismounted, shut, instance shut down. So now we're going to go to where our redo log files are, which happens to be where our um, database files are. And they don't have to be in the same location just for this um, and for performance reasons, they shouldn't be. Um, we go into more detail on that in the Oracle Performance YouTube videos. But on my test system here, they're in the same location. So we're going to go, so based on this query output, we're going to go to C colon slash database Aura data finance. And we're going to do DIR, and we see our three redo log files redo01.log, two, and three. One, two, and three. Okay, so first thing we need to do here is we need to physically change their name at the OS level. And we do that with the following command. And um, DOS, it's move, M O V E. Um, on Unix and, or Linux, it'd be the MV command. So we do move, redo01.log, and we're going to rename it to redo01a.log. Do the same thing for redo2.log, and rename it redo2a. I'm sorry, redo02a.log. And we're going to do the same thing for 3. And we're going to name it redo03a.log. Now, if I do a dir for everything that ends with the log, log extension, I see my three redo log files renamed to redo01a, redo02a, and redo03a.log. Um, this is similar if you guys um, watched my how to rename or move a data file um, in a table space video. It's similar to that procedure. Okay, so. We moved it in the OS, so when we tell Oracle that we want to, that when we tell Oracle to change the name in, a, in the data dictionary, I mean, in the control file and in the data dictionary, that the, that the data that the database see, um, sees that it's in the OS, that it's where it expects it to be. All right. So now, watch what happens if we just log in SQL Plus and try to start up our instance with a startup command. You're probably going to guess what happens. We're going to receive an error. When it try, see it mounted a database. When it try, it started the instance. It mounted a database. When it tried to open a database, which is the point where it it looks at the redo log files and opens the data files, it says open failed for members, um, for members of log group one of thread one. Don't worry about thread. That's uh, a rack term. We get into that with really advanced Oracle replication videos. It says online log one thread one. So it says open for failed of members of log group one. So this member of log group one, remember I said they're in groups, failed. So try to open redo log one 
first, but it can't because it's the data dictionary still thinks that the name is redo01.log. Okay, so we, we need to enlighten Oracle and tell them that we have changed the name or moved the redo log file. So, being that in mounted, we are in mount mode, and we can determine that by typing in select open mode from the database. And we'll see that we're in a mounted mode, and that's the last message we got when it attempted to start. So we know we're in a mounted mode. If we didn't attempt to start like this, we would just type in start up mount, and it would stop there. And as a matter of fact, let's just go ahead and do that to show you. So after you rename the file at an OS, if the redo log files at an OS level with the operating system move command, whatever that may be, whatever platform you're working on, you just you type you log in SQL plus and you type in start up mount. So the database will stop after mounting the control file. Because you know that the database at this point will fail at the open stage because the redo log files are not in the file system hierarchy, not on disk, where the Oracle control file and, da and data dictionary expect it to be. Okay, so no error this time because we stopped that mounted mode. So now we have to let Oracle know about the change, and we do that with the following commands. Alt, we gotta do it for each one. So the first one, alter database, rename file, we give it the original name, database or data finance, redo01.log to c colon slash database or data finance, redo01a.log. So we're saying rename what it is now, the source, to the target, to this name. So rename it from this to this. Done. Now we're going to recall that command again, and we're going to rename two. And I'm lazy, I used a recall. Either that or I'm just productive, one of the two. Okay. And we do the same for three. Okay, so now we have told the control file and the data dictionary about the change. So now we can do an alter database open, and it will open just fine. Or to prove to you that um, Oracle is fine now during your next outage, for, I mean during your next restart of the Oracle database, maybe you start your databases. Maybe your company wants you to start it every week, restart them every week for whatever reason. Okay, um, we're going to shut down all the way and then bring it back up to show you that it can go through all the stages of shutdown and all the stages of startup um, properly. So we have our instance started. We have our database mounted. And we have our database open. And we do a select open node from the database. We'll see that we're in read write, which is open. And if we do a select member from the log file again, we will see our new log file names. We do 01, um, we do 01A, 2A, and 3A. Okay? So that's how you rename Oracle Redo log files in, in an Oracle database. And it's basically the same procedure um, as if you were to um, do it as if you were to rename data files of table spaces in Oracle. So that's basically how you rename those. You have to, so the same thing goes for data files as it goes for redo log files. You have to shut down Oracle or bring the table space offline. Somehow you got to make sure those files are not needed and not in use. Rename them at the OS level and then go into Oracle and OS level being the physical level, layer and then go into Oracle and let Oracle know that the files have changed. So Oracle needs to look for them in a different spot now at the, what we call the logical layer. Okay? That's how you rename your redo log file. So if um, someone ever asks you to relocate a redo log file because you're replacing a hard drive that it resides on or um, you just want to rename it for the purpose of just renaming it like I did, um, that's how you do it. Okay, thank you.